We're joined right now on realerculture.com by Mr. Ernie Hardiman. He is with the Conservative Party based out of the Oxford writing. He is currently the ag critic for the Conservative Party and uh, was the former Minister of Agriculture in Ontario. Welcome today, Mr. Hardiman. Well, thank you very much, Sean. That's uh, good to be here. Uh, last week, you had made some comments uh, in Ontario about uh, basically the Ontario government needing to put together a Made in Ontario solution similar to the one that Alberta has with their cattle price insurance program. Why do you think that's necessary? Well, obviously, uh, the um, ag stability program that's put forward by the federal government goes across the province. Uh, but just like in Alberta and Ontario, it doesn't deal with the um, ever-declining prices, the steady flow down the hill, a uh, race to the bottom, shall we say, based on triggering um, payments through the Ag Stability Program. In Alberta, you put in a program in place which uh, uh, includes the cost of production, so um, the the province then uh, pays to help supplement what the federal government does. If you do it in provincially in one province, obviously it needs to be done provincially in the other provinces uh, because the federal government can't uh, supplement the program differently in one province than the other. So obviously we need to design something to do the same thing for our Ontario producers as uh, Alberta has already done in Alberta. Right. So I guess, can't producers in Ontario already sort of do this by, say, taking out a put option or something like that? Uh, no, there's absolutely no other um, uh, avenues that um, we can have um, support flowing to the um, to the producers unless it would be an ad hoc program that uh, the government would the provincial government would decide to put forward, which they haven't done in the last uh, in the last year or two. So, um, what the industry has done, not just the beef, but the others too, the hog and the uh, and the grain and oil seeds, have put forward a proposal to put forward a a um, uh, cost of production insurance program, which would be partly funded by uh, farmers' premiums and the other part would be uh, government support. And that's um, what we've been trying to push the present provincial government to implement. They've put it in place for the grain and oil seeds, but they have not done anything for the, um, uh, the livestock industry in the province. So we were, um, when we saw the story that came from Alberta, um, it's, it's not now, of course, now it's not a new invention. Uh, we can follow the lead of other provinces, um, such as Alberta, uh, to help our uh, beef producers. Now, uh, just so the, the listeners in Ontario understand, the, the uh, Cattle Price Insurance Program, or CPIP as it's called, is, is actually it's a voluntary program. Uh, producers don't have to participate. Um, mm -hmm. There has been, I guess, uh, you know, just kind of talking to people in the field, there's been mixed uh, uptake of the program. A lot of producers think that the premiums are, are uh, they you know, maybe possibly high, or they've chosen to say take out a put option on their own and not participate in the program. Are, are you thinking that Ontario would have a mandatory program? Uh, no, the proposal that the, uh, the beef industry has already put forward to our minister uh, was, in fact, a voluntary program. Uh, but uh, because it would be uh, supported uh, partly by the provincial government and partly um, uh, by the producers themselves, um, particularly as we see such low prices as we've had in the last number of years, it would be anticipated that the vast majority of the producers would participate. Uh, but it, I think that's why I said we needed a made in Ontario, not necessarily we needed to copy the Alberta solution. We need a made in Ontario program that fits the needs of our producers. Right. Okay. And I'll just, I'll just jump back to, uh, so what, what, is the, what is the reason that the government's giving for not maybe implementing this program uh, as quickly as possible? Well, the, the, um, uh, the minister keeps putting forward the, the suggestion that somehow the program can't work without the support of the federal government. Uh, of course, most of the um, support programs that we have for agriculture across the nation is 60-40, um, uh, uh, funded prevent federally 60 and uh, provincially 40 percent. Our minister seems to believe that uh, companion programs should be the same way. And I think that's the main reason I referenced the Alberta model, which is that the, the, the added support program for Alberta producers is funded by the province and the producers, not the uh, federal government. So it, I was just pointing out that to get an Ontario solution doesn't, as she suggests, require the federal government. It could be done by the provincial government. And I think uh, um, they've been saying all along that that's what they were willing to do, but yet they won't step up to the plate and do it. Okay. Well, Mr. Hardiman, thank you very much for uh, joining us today, and uh, hopefully oh. we'll talk to you again in the future. Oh, very good. And